Hi, Scizorin here, and let's talk about the harvest changes. <laughs> this is amusing to me because, as some of you know, I generally, I don't care that much. I have a very limited sphere of caring. Like, I love to meme when Path of Exile nerf thinks I Vol Molten Shell, but just due to the sheer amount of hours I play, the game is probably always going to be fine for me, right? I completely know life and I can always get what I want. It's not a huge issue for me, but I do want to talk about the harvest changes. Just my thoughts in general. Yeah, let's let's talk about it. So what they're doing is, well, there's a couple of things. Not every seed is going to be guaranteed a craft now. That means that, you know, if you find like five blister lords, the ones that give you influence, well, maybe you only get two or three influence crafts. It does say that they're closer to the one-to-one -one ratio than before. This is probably the change I like the least. And I am always very, very worried when grindy games uh, do multi-pronged nerfs. Whenever they do one nerf at a time, I feel like they very often nail it. Whenever they do two, I feel like there's two teams, they haven't talked to each other, and it has been fucked into the ground. Um, so I'm always scared when something is nerfed in multiple ways. So the fact that there's less seeds, it is buffed here. There, It is 60% more likely to the heart of the groove. Um, so just to give you an idea of how much that is, it's a zero times 1.6 equals... Okay, so you still have a 0% chance to find it. Uh, no, but it is 60% more likely than before. Let's look at the rest. Some mods that had overly deterministic behavior is removed. These include all annulment mods, so there's no more, like, remove fire, remove physical. They're all gone. Uh, and specific divine mods, so, like, divine physical, divine critical. Uh, across the add mods, so, like, add physical, can only be applied to non-influence items. That means that it's, if it's Crusader or anything like that, won't work. The only thing that will work will be, like, augment influence and things like that. And the other change, which is Heart of the Grove, uh, is now a map fragment, which drops from uh, Tier 4 Harvest Bosses. Or sometimes drops from Tier 4 Harvest Bosses. This is great. That's an amazing change. Let's so start with that. Start with some positivity. Uh, that's a great change. I also hope that they are going to overhaul the loot and what Ushabi drops. But at least this this is a great change. Really, really like it. Very good. Well done. My, my mother said, don't say anything nice unless you have something nice to say. I'll see you guys next time. No, um, on a serious note, this is very close to what I suggested for Harvest. Uh, but I do think it is worse than what I suggested. So my suggestion, uh, because I am probably, I've seen, I've read a little bit of the Reddit community thread and I feel like a lot of people, I mean, you have two sides, right? You have a more casual player base that are really enjoying, like, finally we can craft OP items. And then you have more advanced players that are like, this is too strong, it's ruining the game, right? That, that's the two sides. Uh, and, and neither of them are necessarily wrong. Uh, at the end of the day, grinding gay games are completely in their right to make the kind of game that they want to see, right? And obviously, since Diablo 3 has been so bad lately, we have a large amount of a more casual player base that are coming over to Path of Exile. And that's important to remember. And obviously, they will be in favor of more casual mechanics. Uh, you're probably going to have the large majority of streamers who probably think this is good uh, and be in favor of this because obviously something that keeps the longevity of the game is good for streamers and people that know life a lot. And I would probably fall into that camp as well. Uh, I definitely understand a lot of the more casual players and people that don't have a copious amount of hours to play because not only is the game very complicated, but you know, this... And the way Harvest is right now allows a lot of people to play styles and builds that they aren't normally able to. Overall, I still actually, I like and I don't like this. Um, I feel like it would have been a much, much, much better compromise that um, you just remove the tag from every single influence modifier. Like, you know, like, I... So there's been several players in my chat. There's been several new players in my chat that are like starting Path of Exile for their first league this time. Uh, several of them have farmed Headhunters. Several of them have done Awakener 8. Personally, 
I am in favor of there are things that you shouldn't be able to do on your first league. Like there should be an incremental curve. Like maybe this league, my goal was to kill Cyrus or even just get to red maps. And then the next league is, wow, I managed to get Maven. Um, I don't necessarily think that you should be able to, you know, to, to straw man it a little bit just to like drive my point home. Uh, you shouldn't be able to build an instacker and do every single boss on your first league, in my opinion, right? I do feel like a lot of people are going to use the argument like, well, is this your neuro no lifer? And, and yeah, I am. But I, even when I don't play a game, like a large amount of time, whenever I do play a game, like two or four hours or whatever per day, just a lot. I get it. Um, I do, I do enjoy the feeling of like incrementally improving as a player. Like, ooh, I learned something new. I'm getting better. Because I, I think there is a very real fear of something being too easy. I, a lot of people always say that Diablo 3 failed because it became too casual uh, and because things became too easy and you finished the league incredibly fast. People use that argument a lot. Um, I disagree with that a large amount. I feel like Diablo 3 died so hard and became so unpopular because they weren't doing content updates, because they weren't really making enough money, right? There's not going to be a large amount of people continuously buying the game unless you keep doing more expansions. So I don't feel like it did fail because it became too casual. I feel like the more casual you make a game, I think the more money you are going to make. And I think changes like this are, is going to drive casual players away from your game. But also... That's not really the game Path of Exile was meant to be. It might be the Path of Exile that a lot of players want, and that's entirely okay, but they might have to look for other games. Because, and like they say in their item philosophy, they do like the clunkiness. They do like that things are completely RNG. They don't want it to be deterministic. And, and that is, they are entirely within their right. They are allowed to make the game in their vision. It can be hard to get. And, and that is completely okay. I definitely empathize and understand why a lot of people are upset with this. Because, you know, I can play every build I want because I do know life. So I get how fun it is. So I feel like I have a little bit of one, one foot in each camp. It's very easy for me to not be that outraged by changes. I, I do always... I feel like the changes that always hits me personally the most is like when they... They've said they're no longer balancing around hardcore, right? That's fine. I'm okay with that. But then I'm always very surprised when I see like very defensive nerfs, like the Molten Shell one back in the day. I was like, <laughs> like we want to live though. <laughs> like the bosses, like everything is obviously very skilled to just like one shot now. So it's all already very hard. Like those are the ones that affect me the most. Everything else, Path of Exile is in such a fun state for me right now. I feel like the things they did with all like the, uh, the skill points on the atlas, like everything is so fun to target farm now. Even incursion is great to target farm now. Parandis, everything just feels really good to do. I feel like a large problem for people is that they do want deterministic crafting and Harvest was the only source of that. And they removed things like fossils. They, they aren't really, they've been nerfed so hard. I don't like craft a lot with fossils anymore. Sometimes they'll try to get one fossil stat, like, you know, something that's tagged and used. Fossils will be more used now, I guess, as you can't use Harvest on influence items. But I I do personally think it's a big mistake that, I, you know, Reforge Fire can't be used on influence items at all. Uh, I, I definitely would have been way more in favor of being able to roll, say, like, your normal stats on an influence item with, like, Reforge or, you know, anything like that or or alteration crafting one, maybe two influence modifiers and then working on your item with Harvest, but not being able to to do it at all. You can still reforge, I guess, right? Crafts that add a mod of specific type. I think you can still reforge, actually, but um, I, I would definitely have it the other way. I would definitely have, like, physical removed, everything like that. I guess... I guess now that I think about it as well, this does allow for things like Reforge Physical to still give you Explosion at a fairly okay rate. So, I don't know. There's pros and cons of both, I guess. There are definitely pros and cons of both. Um, the hot 
I, I know a large, large amount of players are complaining about the trading thing. That's kind of hard for me to relate to because I don't feel trade league. I don't play trade league, right? So I, I don't care about how shit trade is. I uh, I feel bad for the people that are not enlightened as I am yet and play solo cell phone. Now, obviously, like most people don't have time to play solo cell phone um, and trade in uh, PoE is in a pretty shit state. Uh, I'm one of those players that I don't want an auction house even if I did play trade. But uh, there are definitely a large amount of improvements that they should do. Uh, like cross-instance trading and, you know, I don't know, tasering players that go AFK. And I think that the largest problem with Harvest is that it breaks the gameplay loop like no other. Depends on where you are in PoE, right? But it's not uncommon to do a map every minute or a map every two minutes. <laughs> and then you find a Harvest and you're stuck there for... 10 to maybe 20 minutes if you don't know what you're doing. So it, it breaks the gameplay loop like a large amount. 60% increase to that. I don't know. I think my final stance is that it's an interesting change. And having three leagues of... Sorry, three months of this isn't going to kill the game. Um, I, I think it's really cool when something's very, very different. So three months of uh, Harvest being different. I, I think that could be pretty interesting. Um, and maybe if they, uh, get a lot of feedback, like, okay, we actually really do hate this, this is terrible, then maybe they will change it. Uh, so I'm more in favor of smaller incremental changes until it feels good. I feel like this is a very drastic change, and I'm always very worried when GDD do drastic changes. Definitely more in favor of smaller changes over time based on community feedback. Then, like, you know, eventually it's like, okay... Guys, you've almost got it right. Maybe nerf that a little bit. This is a little too strong. Nextly, do this. And then it's... Mm, chef's kiss. Perfect. I can see kind of everybody. And I can see GGD's changes as well. Like, I, I can understand where they're coming from. Because they've they've made it very clear through podcasts and their philosophy what kind of game they want. And it's completely okay if that's not the kind of game you want to play. Because there are a lot of games out there. Oh, wait. No, not really. Not yet. But, you know, there are other ARPGs on the horizon. Uh, some that are more casual, if you haven't, like, Last Epoch is great, it's definitely a lot less, uh, complicated than Path of Exile, it's a great alternative, and obviously there's things like Diablo 2, uh, remastered on the horizon, so, there are other choices out there, it's not the end of the world if you feel like you hate PoE now, a little bit drastic in my opinion, but, again, I, I'm pretty much gonna love it no matter what. I would love to hear what you guys think about this. Uh, like, my take isn't more important than your guys. Like, that's an important thing to remember. Like, I'm just one dude and I like insanely hardcore and grindy games. So, let me know how you feel. Like, maybe talk a little bit about, hey, I'm a more casual player. I'm a hardcore player. Like, talk a little, because I want to see, like, where people are coming from. Like, are you somebody that only plays a few hours a day and you love this change? Or are you somebody that only plays a few hours a day and you hate this change? Like, I think, I think that would be really, really cool to hear. So if you guys want to, like, post some comments about that, I would love to see how different factions or whatnot in the, in the community feel about it. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts, or at least respect them. You know, it's important. We can, we can like or dislike different things. Uh, obviously, I'm quite a hardcore player, but yeah, I do try to do well with recognizing what, you know, more casual players like and stuff, so... Let me know if I'm completely off. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Sub if you like it. And more importantly, try to die less than I do.